Cool. Welcome to Ask It Sports. I am Brandon Dude Boy Perna, and the NFL draft is so close that Mel Kuyper has started evacuating his bladder in preparation for the weekend while Roger Goodell is diligently studying the wrong pronunciation of all the potential first rounders' names. Marcus Mariotto. And there are some doozies this year. All the talk is about the quarterbacks, right? The QBs, not the RBs, the QBs, not the DBs, the QBs, not the CBs, the QBs, not the LBs. Perhaps, rightfully so. We all worship quarterbacks like they're fucking gods. Now, as many as four QBs could go with the first five picks of the draft, which is unprecedented. Precedented. But also, it means that some of the best overall prospects in the draft could fall down on the board, and today I'm talking about those other guys, those more talented non-QB guys who, who will actually benefit by falling in the draft and getting selected by a team that's, say, better than the Jets or Browns. That's good sports! Okay, let's start with the pros and the cons of the other guys. Let's go to Mr. Sexy himself. No, not Chris Hemsworth, Saquon Barkley, running back, Penn State. The guy many believe is the true best player in the 2018 NFL Draft. Pro, he possesses unprecedented speed for a running back his size. Saquon. Con, once he starts running, it is very hard to stop much like the movie Speed. Or Marvin Harrison with the baseball bat if you don't pay your rent on time. Of course I get money for this. This is how you get paid. You want some money, right? What? Don't matter. Don't, don't matter. That is really Marv Marvin Harrison, by the way. Pro, able to catch passes out of the backfield. Con, has anyone ever asked him if he wants to catch passes out of the backfield? Pro, great in pass blocking situations. Con, terrible at blocking people on Twitter. Pro, excellent character both on and off the field. Con, he was a journalism major at Penn State, so he may struggle to pay the bills if he gets injured by playing one of the most injury-prone positions in the NFL. I don't know if Saquon Barkley will be a great NFL running back. He definitely has the potential. I think he needs to go to the right uh, uh, offensive team. And I think his comparisons to guys like Barry Sanders are near impossible to live up to, but I wish Barkley the best, and I would not mind seeing him in a Denver Broncos uniform. Quentin Nelson, offensive guard. Notre Dame, that's right, a fucking guard is on this list. Pro, he is dominant in blocking, both pass blocking and run blocking. He likes to obliterate defenders at the first and second level. Con, might get flagged for being too far downfield, killing defenders on pass plays. He has a thirst for blood, and sometimes it's costly. Pro, looks like a really nice guy has that unsuspecting baby face that will deceive defensive linemen into thinking he's soft. Con, he weighs 325 pounds and has an insatiable appetite. He accidentally ate Sean Astin on Rudy Remembrance Day while playing at Notre Dame. Pro, he cranked out 35 reps on the bench press at the combine. Con, kind of a show off in the weight room, which doesn't jive well with teammates. Pro, able to anchor any offensive line for a decade plus. Con, will be booed at the draft simply for being a guard. This could shatter his confidence, turning him into the worst player on the offensive line, sending him on a downward spiral that will ultimately put him in the worst situation known to former athletes, sitting next to Skip Bayless on a shitty argument-based daytime sports show. Honestly, if you watch this guy play football and you're not excited, you're an idiot. He does play guard. It is one of the least sexy positions on the offense, but he, he is worth going in the top five. Bradley Chubb, defensive end or outside linebacker, however you want to spin it, North Carolina State. Pro, Von Miller called him a Miller-Mac hybrid. 
which is a huge compliment from Vaughn combining the two best pass rushers in the NFL. Con. Von Miller has no scouting experience and once appeared on Dancing with the Stars. Pro, praised by Bill Belichick. Con, never, ever trust Bill Belichick, especially close to the NFL draft. Side note, uh, Bill likes to call up players right before the Patriots pick and tell them that New England will be selecting them next just to see the life get sucked out of them when the Patriots don't select them. Bill doesn't receive his energy from food like normal people. He receives it from watching humans suffer. Pro, able to disrupt plays with his excellent motor. The dude is a machine on the edge. Con, according to Lance uh, Zerline, Chubb has experience standing. I, I would hope so. I would hope, I would hope so, Lance. Pro, with the last name Chubb, he made it onto my 10 best names in the draft video. Always take the guy who has the last name that reminds you of a penis. It's simple. Con, has two legitimate chances to be drafted by the Browns. Bradley Chubb is probably the best pass rusher on the board and I will be surprised if the Giants don't take him at two and or if the Browns don't take him at four. If he falls past that number, somebody's getting a frickin' steal. Minka Fitzpatrick, defensive back, Alabama. Pro, was the ball hawk of Alabama's championship defense. Con, did not attend Harvard like certain other Fitzpatricks and cannot grow a beard like certain other Fitzpatricks. Pro, able to play cornerback or safety which is very appealing to many secondaries who struggle uh, with tight end matchups. Khan has a first name that reminds me of the hottest but also most annoying character on Friday Night Lights, the series, Minka Kelly, who played Lila Garrity. Pro, because of his name, Minka, he has the best chance at having sex with Tim Riggins. Khan will be fucking Tim Riggins behind his paraplegic boyfriend's back. How could you do that, Lila? How could you fucking do that to Jason Street, you tramp? You tramp, Lila Garrity. Your dad sucks. Your dad's a dick. And so are you. I know Tim Riggins is tempting, but he, Jason was your fucking boyfriend. Pro, able to put up with Nick Saban yelling in his face for three years. Con, couldn't stop Hunter fucking Renfro in the national championship game. Minka Fitzpatrick will be a player on whatever team drafts him, but since his primary position is safety, he's more of a safety than a corner, I don't think he should be selected in the top five there, uh, and I believe he will fall past that. But still, I think he's a tremendous athlete. Denzel Ward, corner, Ohio State. Pro, he's one of the fastest players in the draft with the 4-3-2 40-yard dash time. Con, skipped the Cotton Bowl. Obviously, he prefers synthetic fibers. You a, you a polyester man, Denzel? Pro, he's from Macedonia, Ohio, rather than the Balkan country of Macedonia. Con, can get pushed around by bigger receivers and strong-willed girlfriends. Pro, has been compared to Chris Harris Jr. and could play on the same team as Chris Harris Jr. if the Broncos take him at number five. And if you're standing next to Chris Harris Jr. on the football field, you're a lucky son of a bitch. Con will never be the best Denzel W. Pro, he is seriously probably the best corner in this year's draft. This is a reminder from gastroenterology. <laughs> That's private info. And we know right now, corners, I, I feel like, are more important than they've ever been in the NFL. Every team really needs three corners, so uh, good luck to Denzel, and hopefully you're playing in the Mile High City. Look, if you're a Giants fan, a Browns fan, a Broncos fan, or a Colts fan, you have to be excited that any of these guys might be available when you pick due to the projected early quarterback rush. Hell, even Tampa Bay and Chicago at seven and eight might be selecting one of the five best players in the draft. I love that we don't know how this will play out and that there could be multiple big trades early. And uh, the coolest part is some of these extremely talented players may end up on teams that don't totally suck. 
It's good news for the players, you know? Now come back draft night for more videos. I'll probably be live for at least the first part of the draft, especially if the Broncos, you know, pick at number five. I wanna, I wanna feel that experience live with all of you here on YouTube. And uh, oh man, draft. Draft day is happening. Draft day is happening.